Everybody loves grim dark. What is the best way to achieve this look? Some people swear on enamels being king of grim dark, but with the new medium comes new challenges, and you might encounter different problems, some more difficult or annoying than others. Other people swear that you can achieve the same look using just acrylic paint, but how easy is it really? We're gonna find out today, because I'm gonna paint the same Death Guard model and try to figure out which one of these mediums is the best medium for grim dark. Start with a dark red base coat in order to keep the grime look. You will find the full color list in the description down below. I then started the layering process with the dark desaturated green using a homemade sponge. So here we want to hit 90% of the model. It might seem very easy to use a sponge, but I think you kind of need to figure out the right dilution to do it. I feel like it's halfway between a dry brush and a regular detail brush. I then move to the next layer and here I apply the color more sparingly. Just watch out for the dilution, test your dilution on your finger before you put it on your model or you can test it directly on your model. I then apply the final highlight with a bonish color and later I will go back in with a brush. I block in the other areas with black. This black step, I think it's very important because it helps me out with the definition and clean up the model a little bit. And it makes model more readable and it will be easier in my humble opinion to apply a metallic paint on the black. As promised, I come back with the brush, highlighting with the bonish color. I'm using like a fat glazing consistency, stippling around and try to reach the areas where the sponge didn't reach. A thing of note here is that throughout all this model, I do little to no blending, which could be considered a bit easier, but mostly not, in my opinion, because you gotta use that consistency to your advantage if you don't want to blend in the traditional sense. I also use some contrast paint to bring back some saturation. After blocking in the metallics, uh, the bronze and the silver, I move on to griming everything up with acrylics. I'm gonna use a mix, the, the color that you see on screen that will be in the description as well, and the red that I use for base coat. I'm gonna use a sort of a wash consistency, but I'm gonna control the paint a lot. I'm gonna create like intentional streaks and this is what makes this medium a bit harder to work with compared to enamels because you need to guide it. You risk staining the surface where you don't want to stain the surface. And I think it just needs a little bit more brush control as well. I'm enhancing the rust effect with a lighter uh, orange and I also use some turquoise very very diluted to recreate that patina effect that you would easily have with uh, oil paint or enamels so but I think the effect is looking very good tell me your opinion on that maybe try this scheme out and you know let me know what are the struggles about using this type of medium but yeah, it might be difficult. I was kind of out of Death Guard, sort of, and I had to strip a model. And this was the result. Please kill me! I start with the base coat of the same green I used for the highlight stage and the acrylic. And then I also apply some metallics. There is no need for the black stage here because the enamels are gonna take care of shading and defining the models. And here if you make a mistake applying the metallics, you can just clean it up by dumping your brush and wash it off. I think there's no need to cover it up with paint, but if it still shows through, you can go ahead and do that. After taking care of the tentacles and the other part of the model, it's time for the fun part, streaking grime. I applied streaking grime directly with an airbrush and then removed the excess using an eyeshadow pad instead of a q-tip. And yes, streaking grime is great, but it's also pretty smelly, pretty toxic, I don't know, funky to work with. You gotta be in the well-ventilated area and wear a respirator and check your filters. This model, because it was stripped and it was stripped badly, it had too thin retail and this caused a bit of a lack of definition because with my sponge, especially in the shoulder pads, I rubbed off streaking grime from the recesses as well. Maybe just strip better than me or use a new model. Next is an oil wash and pigments. 
and I like the old wash in this case for two reasons. One, I was trying to get more definition to the models because of the dripping problem. And also, what I usually do is using the oil wash to fix the pigments to the model. And I think that's a good technique because it works better than pigment fixer and it gives it a little bit of texture that makes it more grimy and corrosive and la la la. And no, I'm not counting pigments as acrylics because they're not the pigment fixer is not acrylic after it dried i blocked in the black parts with contrast paint before starting another weathering stage using these two products from ak interactive and an oil wash with oxide patina which i mentioned before like always these are messier stinkier but i do think they get the job done easier So here's the results. I have to say that both models have a high grim dark level, but I do think that enamels take the cake in this case because the mix between oils and pigments creates this very interesting texture. I was really surprised by the fact that I enjoyed painting with acrylics more because usually I enjoy a lot painting with enamels. But this time in particular, I did have some troubles with them. And I think most of the fault goes to the models that I stripped because the paint oils and enamels had an hard time finding the recesses <laughs> because it didn't have them <laughs> and i was too cheap to buy new death guard for this video <sniffs> please support me on patreon please as more than well expected acrylics took longer than enamels maybe three hours or so also because of the higher brush skills required for this job but i have to say that for enamels you can have to wait around a lot for them to dry and it's boring but if you're painting an army or something else while well, you wait of course they're fine for these particular death guard models i have to say i like the acrylics look more i think it's more defined more readable and more interesting to look at it surely required more skills to do it, like I mentioned before. Yeah, you go in with a sponge, but you kind of need a very consistency to use correctly a sponge. But then you also have to use your brush for the small details. So yeah, I like it more, but it implies using more advanced techniques, I think. Well, with the enamels, uh, the process is more straightforward, but also I bet if I were to repaint the same skin on a new model, it would look better and I would be more satisfied with the paint job. Because I really, really enjoy using the streaking grime method. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I read them. I don't reply to them always because I get overwhelmed and get distracted by the cat. But if you're here at the end of this video, I think you are gonna enjoy this grim dark marines as well. See you there or see past me there.